As I sit here and write this, I think about how I wanted things to go down. Not with the progression of the human race, more like the progression of my heart racing, falling for you. See, falling for you was a mistake, because somewhere along the line your heart left, and I couldn't pay attention to your resignation because of a lack of communication, and I guess I'm partially to blame. So it goes. See, all of a sudden I was something you didn't want. I was yesterday's garbage, I was last week's recycling, but instead of taking the time to recycle, you just threw me away. And that wasn't healthy for my environment. I'm not your responsibility, I know that. One should date for one's own self, I know that too. But this pain that I'm feeling in the vein of my heart, it just keeps pulling, pulling me apart. And now you're gone, and I'm back to the start. But I'm not. You came, you saw, you left. Vani, vidi, adios. I'll miss you from your head down to your toes, but I guess that's how the story goes, and I know I'll be all right eventually. Everything's eventual, everything's just fine. All pain goes away, you just have to give it time. I really want to smack that guy that sold us all these lies. And I know I should be happy without you, but I can't understand that while I grieve. I shouldn't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. But it hurts. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Knowing that you don't care just makes it hurt worse. It's like I don't even have any control over these feelings. Not that I did in the first place. People can't force themselves to love. People can't even force toleration. It just kind of comes with the movement, comes with the territory, comes with making the world a better place. Anger and hate can't even be faked, but the one feeling that can is indifference. People can pretend not to care. They can pretend to be too good for love, even too good for hate, but then after a while they just become Cold, cold machines. We are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful what we pretend to be. And I know I'll get comments saying, oh, you're better off, you'll find somebody new, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. Just don't. Because I know that already. You don't have to tell me twice. You don't even have to tell me once, come to think of it. Falling in like is always a gamble. I took a chance, I rolled the dice, I lost. If the relationship was a taxi driver, I swallowed the poison. My heart was thinking as blindly as Cyclops. The devotion that I was ready to put in was close to that of chewing up and swallowing the dead guy's finger in order to find his killer. A lot of you aren't going to get these references. No, I can't do this to myself. She is so long gone, as close as the internet, spanning such a huge distance away, and yet easily accessed if I want, but I shouldn't. And I think that's what's eating me up the most. There was such an impact, such a crater, such a scar. It's like unzipping a RAR. All my feelings just expanded, and now I'm just supposed to pack them up and go home? All right. Never regret things because at one time it was exactly what we wanted. But what about cake? This cake is exactly what I want right now, but in a few months I'm going to regret eating all of those cakes. For good reason. They made me diabetic. Theoretically. I guess my point is instead of doing what we want all the time, we need to look at our actions in a linear progression from cause to effect instead of thinking that our actions can be all wibbly wobbly. Actions cause other actions. Always. You know what's funny? she won't even see this video. Which I guess it makes it more easy for me to be honest, but this isn't for her, this isn't for you, this is for me, this is what I needed to do. I sat down and wrote this so I wouldn't go crazy as Moriarty, so I could channel all my feelings, all my dismay, into something productive and new, for me anyway. This, what you're watching right now. And I know I'm no Watsky with beat poetry rhymes, and I know there were cuts between stanzas sometimes, but you know what? I think this helped. I feel a little better now. I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for listening.